I want to create a legacy that will last forever. Have you ever said that? Have you ever thought about that? Is that something that you want to do? If so, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you how we do that. Uh, what is up, my fellow underdog? Welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, and if you have never been to this channel before and you want the best tips on how to dominate life as an underdog and win, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything, and we are getting started right now. Yeah, we some go -getters. We're getting started right now. So to create a legacy that lasts forever, first off, obviously, what is it? You have to know what exactly is the legacy that you want to create because so many of us go through life not really consciously thinking about or deciding what kind of legacy we want to create. We just kind of go through the life, through the motions, like, you know, live, you know, whatever. But if you don't know what it is that you, what the legacy is that you want to be said about you when you're gone, how are you going to create that? How are you going to start acting in accordance to that legacy today so that it will be said about you when you're gone? What is that legacy? Number two, which is probably the most important part of the whole entire deal is why. Why do you want to create this legacy? That's key because if it's, you got to have a strong reason why you want this legacy to be cemented in your name when you're gone. Because if you don't have a strong enough reason, you're not going to push through all the resistance you're going to face throughout your lifetime to make it happen. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going out. So you gotta have that in place. What is your why? Why? What's your strong reason why you want this legacy to be about you? A good practical way to figure that out is to visualize, and I got this out of uh, Stephen R. Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Really good book. Um, he talks about in there, to, a good way to figure out your legacy, what you want to be said about you when you're gone, is to actually visualize your funeral and visualize all of your family members, your friends, your coworkers, anybody, at your funeral, what would you want them to say about your character, your contributions, and your achievement in life? And when you can do that, you, you, you write down these impressions that you get of what you want to be said about you at your funeral, write it all down, write it down, take the time to actually write it down, and then you can start acting in accordance of what you've written down today so that will actually happen at your funeral and you create that legacy. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos that are gonna help you dominate as an underdog, then make sure you check out this playlist right there. And guys, I just launched my podcast about a month and a half ago and the thing is blown up. It's a top 200 rated podcast in the world on iTunes for self-help, which is huge. So if you like listening to podcasts, you're definitely going to like this one because it's all about, it's called Underdog Empowerment. That's right. We're going to link it up in the description below under Underdog Empowerment. I'm going to have the links for iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. I'm working on getting it into Spotify and SoundCloud and other directories but definitely check it out I'm interviewing some like people that I never thought I would talk to before when I first started out crazy influencers and I'm doing everything in my power to extract the value from them to figure out how they overcame being an underdog to get into where they're at now so I can best serve you that's what it's all about and always dude please let me know in the comments below if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover on goal achievement or something related to goal achievement let me know I love to make a video about that to help serve you leave it in the comments below I appreciate you engaging with me here I appreciate you guys tuning in all the time like you guys are freaking awesome I mean that and as always thank you for tuning in I appreciate you and I will see you next time yeah, we some we're getting started right now